Japanese scientists say cooling water may be leaking from another reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. They say the water level of the reactor's containment vessel is far shallower than they previously thought. Researchers at the government-backed Japan Nuclear Energy Safety Organization analyzed the internal pressure and other data from the number one reactor. They say the water inside is about 40 centimeters deep. That's 160 centimeters shallower than officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company believed. The researchers say water may be leaking from a hole in a pipe. Still, TEPCO spokespersons say nuclear fuel is being cooled sufficiently, with water temperatures at about 30 degrees Celsius. In March, workers found the water level inside another reactor had fallen to 60 centimetres. Water appears to be leaking there too. The leaks could make the task for decommissioning the plant more difficult. The operator hopes to fill the vessels with water in order to remove melted fuel within 10 years. And it's still going. The accident in Fukushima could still, Unit 4 could collapse with a spent fuel pool. If that happens with the next earthquake, Tokyo will have to be evacuated. 30 million people. If that happens, I'm flying my family out from Boston and my grandbaby to Australia immediately. Um, there still could be a hydrogen explosion. In fact, hydrogen continues building up in those three reactor buildings, so much so they're injected nitrogen in to dilute the hydrogen because you know that hydrogen reacts with oxygen and explodes. So we haven't finished yet. And in fact, they don't know how to clean it up. It is not in cold shut down. The corium, the mass 100 tonnes of melted uranium lava is lying on the floor of the containment vessel. It hasn't finished and will never finish. I think it means the end of Japan financially. I think it means in long term the end of nuclear power, but it will take a while. An international survey on overall happiness in life has found that Japan ranks 21, and that's among 36 industrialized and emerging nations. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development released the results on Tuesday. Japan is rated the safest country of all because very few people reported falling victim to crimes. What the fuck? You the country even ranks second in education with high scores for reading and mathematics. But Japan performs poorly in housing, coming in 25th place, and that's because housing costs take up a large share of household budgets. Now, Japan is number 27 for life satisfaction and 34 for work-life balance. The survey notes that many Japanese work very long hours. Just think funny things. The low scores in these categories put Japan in at 21st place for overall well-being. Australia is ranked the happiest nation of all, followed by Norway and the United States. Many of the top 10 nations are in Northern Europe. Japan's trade balance in April was in the red for a second straight month. The finance ministry said in its preliminary report on Wednesday that Japan's trade deficit was about $6.5 billion last month. Exports were up for a second month in a row. That's almost an 8% rise from a year earlier in yen terms. This is mainly due to an increase in shipments of autos to the United States and Asia. Imports, meanwhile, rose 8% due to a rise in liquefied natural gas for thermal power plants. High price of crude oil were also a factor. That follows the shutdown of nuclear power plants across the country in the wake of the Fukushima Daiichi accident last year. Well, Tokyo Electric Power Company apparently earned most of its profit from households. The finding comes after the utility sought permission to raise household power charges to cover the massive costs related to last year's nuclear plant accident. The industry ministry presented the data to an expert panel that was set up to screen TEPCO's application. The ministry says TEPCO earned 9% of its profit from large lot customers, including companies, during the five business years through March 2011. But it says 91% of the profit came mainly from households, although revenue from households accounts for just over 60% 
of the total. The panel members are urging TEPCO to give more details on costs. Based on the panel's judgment, the industry minister will decide whether to approve a hike in charges. A team of experts has cast doubt on Japan's goal of cutting greenhouse gas emissions by 25 percent by 2020. The experts say the country is unlikely to reach the target even if it uses nuclear power. The experts were a part of a panel set up to examine ways to combat global warming following last year's Fukushima nuclear crisis. It was asked to review the government's goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 25 percent from 1990 levels. The panel came up with a list of potential reductions by examining scenarios that take into account five different levels of nuclear power generation and three levels of renewable energy and other anti-global warming steps. It found that even if Japan derived 35 percent of its energy from nuclear power, and adopted the most extreme anti-global warming steps, emissions would be cut by only 19 percent by 2030. Without any nuclear power, emissions would be cut by only 11 percent. Observers say the findings are likely to put Japan under greater pressure to revise its midterm emissions reduction goals. The International Atomic Energy Agency and Iran have agreed on ways to verify the country's suspected nuclear arms development. IAEA Director General Yukia Amano told reporters in Vienna that the two sides will soon sign the accord, but he did not give a date or details. Decision was made by me and Mr. Jalili to reach agreement on the structured approach. Amano met Iran's nuclear negotiator Saeed Jalili in Tehran. It's the first time since 2007 that Iran has accepted an IAEA proposal to allow wider inspections. The IAEA has been demanding Iran allow on-site inspections at a military facility near Tehran. The facility is suspected of hiding undeclared experiments related to nuclear weapons development. The Islamic Republic says its atomic work is for peaceful purposes. Iran will hold talks on its nuclear program with the U.S. and European unions in European nations rather in Baghdad on Wednesday. All right, Bubbles, get ready to hit the dirt. I should have become an accountant. Oh, stop worrying, kid. We're going to give this bathroom the shine of its life. Show those germs no mercy. Dig in, kid, dig in. Clean and shine. Disinfect. Deodorize. We'll never scratch away with a grit. Oh, we never do. We never do. <laughs> you did good, kid. Now let's go down the drain together. We work hard, hard so, so you don't have to. Now bathroom cleaner with scrubbing bubbles.
Japanese scientists say cooling water may be leaking from another reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. They say the water level of the reactor's containment vessel is far shallower than they previously thought. Researchers at the government-backed Japan Nuclear Energy Safety Organization analyzed the internal pressure and other data from the number one reactor. They say the water inside is about 40 centimeters deep. That's 160 centimeters shallower than officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company believed. The researchers say water may be leaking from a hole in a pipe. Still, TEPCO spokespersons say nuclear fuel is being cooled sufficiently with water temperatures at about 30 degrees Celsius. In March, workers found the water level inside another reactor had fallen to 60 centimeters. Water appears to be leaking there too. The leaks could make the task for decommissioning the plant more difficult. The operator hopes to fill the vessels with water in order to remove melted fuel within 10 years.